And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. From the gun, Clay, quick hitter here, it's complete. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down shy of the first on the 35-yard strike. Now that's often a surprise for the defensive guys when they see the big fella slide out of the backfield and catch the ball. Not something they usually go over in practice very often. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. It'll be spotted on the right hash, a 52-yard attempt. And that's off the right upright, and it bounces away no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So distance not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. And Detroit getting set to go now. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. One quarter remains until the NFC crowns its champion. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. From the 45 on second down, Stafford. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Out of the gun, Stafford. Yeah, that one going to be knocked away and incomplete. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Their already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. The Lions go for it on fourth. It's Stafford. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Stafford looks to throw again. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. The Notre Dame man, Jalen Smith, able to get a hand in and knock it away. On second down now, it's George. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. The Lions on third down, an almost unimaginable 0 for 10 thus far. Here it's third and three. Stafford, it's caught, Jones. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. Stafford to Jones, enough for a Lion first down. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yeah. thought he was trying to get deep Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Stafford now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. A shotgun snap for Stafford. He'll get this one to Galladay. And oh, he coughed it up. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? 
it is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You probably talk about this training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. It's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Once more, he was trying to get it to Kenny Galladay, and it's third and short. Stafford on third down. That's complete right around the eight. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this NFC Championship belt. And a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air. Because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. I got you, Throwing again at Stafford. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. T.J. Hawkinson there to make the grab. And the Lions are able to draw a bit closer. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Let's go, Heavy. Heavy, what you got? To the air again, Stafford. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Let's go. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. Now they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? But Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football. But they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 13 yards and a first down, Cowboys. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Breaks the tackle now with Allen. A big play there on the catch and run. And even 50 yards. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for them during this game. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Now a carry for the big fella. This is Jameis with a wallet. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. But well, good luck there as a ball carrier. You get handed that football, look up. Oh, there's a big D tackle ready to swallow you whole for a loss. Yeah, you kind of count on your guys to give you at least a little bit of time, a little bit of space to try and maneuver, but not on that one. And when you have a defensive tackle who is that strong, that agile, 
he's a lot to deal with. Sometimes you have to double him, and sometimes you're not able to block him no matter who's trying. He'll get this complete to Batson. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Operating from the gun, Clay. This will be caught at about the six. And he has the first down before he's tackled at the five. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. They come out here in the eye. Ready? They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. From the two now, second and goal. Back to throw. Clay, that ball is caught. It's Gallup. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup with his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Gay is on for the point after. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's capped off with the Cowboys touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. So here come the Lions now. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 24. From the gun, here's Stafford. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there at second down. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. To throw again, Stafford. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. It's picked up by the Cowboys. All right, you've had to put up with me in this booth. I'm going to try and be simple this time and succinct. It simply has not been their night. No, I think that fumble's kind of indicative of how this whole evening's gone, isn't it? Without a doubt. I mean, they've, they've tried, <laughs> but nothing has ever really taken throughout the game. That's why they're down so big. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Now this ball game certainly has gotten a little out of hand. This is normally when they say you got to fill. This is fill time for guys like you and I. But you know, to be frank, just a dominating performance. Really impressive what we've seen. It is, and I'm glad that you went in that direction because otherwise we're going to talk about the museum tour we took yesterday. Which was also impressive. Which was also very yeah. impressive. But this game, how they've done it, offense, defense, special teams, they put it all together. And I gotta tell you, I am beyond impressed by what I've seen from this team. Gonna run again here with Pollard. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're gonna have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's gonna take to slow them down. To throw on third down. Clay got an open man, the tight end Jarwin. 
And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. He's been the go-to guy, and they needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. This will be caught just inside the 10. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Whip, whip. They'll run with Pollard, and he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. From the gun on third down, Clay. And probably the wise decision there. No one open, he just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. This just a 24-yard attempt. And Gay knocks this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points. But this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> First down for the Lions on a nice pickup of 18 yards. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now a man open down the middle of the field. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Stafford delivers this to Hawkinson. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. First down Detroit, 16 yards on the pickup. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one. And that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full strength. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation Still game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Again, it's Stafford. That is incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. 
And once again, he'll get possibly back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. And this is good for a first down, his second grab of this NFC Championship bout. down throw Stafford this complete to Jones and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9 the Lions passing game in sync now they've got another first down operating from the gun Stafford and that is caught well they're going to see this one to the end they get a score but pretty much an exercise in futility right now still down big so he's hit Pater twice, but still they're facing that deficit here in the second half. So they're going to see if they can continue to find ways to get him the football because obviously something is working for him to find the end zone twice. In any event, however this turns out, he's going to be hard to deal with in the film room, isn't it? He's going to want to know why he's not getting more passes thrown to him. Those big tight ends are getting greedy. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for, and this touchdown will count. Gonzalez is able to tack on the PAT, and that will get him one closer. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Cowboys are able to recover. The well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They'll run on first down. Pollard gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Here's Pollard. And he'll get it down on the plate of the 37. After a gain of five, they'll wind up being about a length of the football short here on third down. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. Only a pickup of two, but that's all they needed for the first. I know the game's changed. A lot of people would say it's evolved. Look, I'm a little bit Neanderthal, okay? I love this. No exotic formations, no misdirection. Just line up and run the darn ball, pick up the first down. I love it. Yeah, third and short, that's what you're supposed to do. Like you said, old school smash mouth football. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up come on. on first and 10. Check, check. Fresno, Fresno, Fresno. Oh. Now a give here to Pollard. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. And for all these guys, whether you're a rookie, a 10-year veteran, there's no feeling like this NFC champs. And you feel like family. Never at any time do you feel more like family than when you're sharing the joy of being the NFC champs 
and now everyone gets to say they're going to the Super Bowl. And that will do it for this one. For Charles Davis, myself, and the entire crew, we'll see you in two weeks at the Super Bowl.